Ultimate Team has a problem, and it comes down to the tactics. Tactics are better than what they used to be, but they're still far away than what they could be. And in EA Sports FC, all of this could potentially be changing. And in this video, we're going to be explaining absolutely everything. But before we do get into the video, if you want to go through FIFA 23 and take advantage of the low player prices, then there is no better place than Skycoach. Skycoach offers cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 23 coins so that you don't need to spend time grinding this game. You can just play and enjoy the final few months before EA Sports FC. If you're interested, there is a link in the description down below. And if you use code FANATIC, you'll also get a 10% discount. Nice. Tactics are vital. It could be the difference between you winning a game or losing a game. But with that said, they are still quite basic. In terms of ultimate team, a lot of it is just moving sliders around. Now this design is deliberate. The idea is that anyone can pick up and play ultimate team and they would instantly understand that if they go and increase the width or change the depth, maybe even change the build up play, they know exactly what they're doing. It is simple and accessible so that anyone can play ultimate team and instantly understand what to go and do in terms of tactics. They can at least have a basic understanding of what to change up and have a slightly higher chance of their team playing the way that they want them to play. And that certainly helps those who are wanting to jump into the game for the very first time. But this is also very limiting. There are so many other things that could be implemented to make tactics better. And it just hasn't been done. Things that would actually help those that are first starting FIFA to have better controls over their team rather than with the current system. Many players believe and have said for a very long time that EA should ditch this current tactic system and instead take inspiration from games like Football Manager, which has a much more fluid tactic system that would allow everyone to customize their own team to their exact specifications. And this is a problem that we've seen within Ultimate Team for quite some time. And over the last year or two, it does appear that EA are slowly starting to open up to this idea. And that is that with building your Ultimate Team, you can't actually build your Ultimate Team. There are limitations within the game in terms of your formation, in terms of player positions, in terms of chemistry. All of these are factors that count in to you, what you need to actually build. In FIFA 22, the chemistry system itself had you needing to link directly to the players around you. If you don't have enough links, well, you're not going to get chemistry. And if you don't get chemistry, that player is going to be negatively impacted. Now, this did change within FIFA 23, where now you can get chemistry across the whole pitch. So it isn't about linking players directly to each other, just about having the players within the team. And this opened the door up slightly more, but was still limited because players then had their preferred position and an alternative position. But what players quickly found is that now, because of this new way, it doesn't quite help. It doesn't really change anything for a player such as Marcus Rashford, who by default have the positions of a striker as well as a left wing. But there is no way in which you can convert them down to a left mid or even bring them down to a center forward or cam if you wish to do so. And yes, I understand that Marcus Rashford may not play those positions within real life, but this is a game. And the whole purpose is to build your ultimate team, but you can't. So that is where tactics come into play and people end up using these so that they'll have their default team, which is what they're going to start out with, but they're going to go and switch to something more attacking or defensive, depending where they put it, which will change player positions within games so that they are not negatively impacted. Now, players are already doing this, but it's the case that it should really be done anyway. Players should be able to place anyone where they want to go and place them. And if that does mean that strikers are now going to go down to CDMs, well, that's a choice that you guys get to make. And with this would come much more open and fluid formations without being restricted. For example, if you were going to go and take the 41212, maybe as part of that formation, you don't just want your left mids and right mids to be there. Maybe you want them to cut inside so that it would drag defenders and fullbacks for the opposition also inside. And then that is when you'll have your custom tactics, your tactics to have your wingbacks 
overlapping. Now, there are options for this to somewhat happen within game, but it doesn't always work out. There are certain areas of the pitch which have always been locked. You can set players to have certain actions. There is already a stay back whilst attacking and always overlap option for your fullbacks. But regardless of what you select here, they will still overlap and they will still stay back. This in itself could just be an AI problem, but with this, by having a much more fluid and an open formation system where you can directly take players and say, hey, I want you to be within these specific areas for most of the game, that they would then stay within those areas. And in terms of it being a fullback, of course, you can then have that for the full right side and left side of the pitch, rather than just going into your custom tactics and changing the player with player instructions to say always overlap because it doesn't really do too much. This would also help to see if things are actually in action and we actually get feedback because there is already a heat map within FIFA 23 as part of the match highlights, which tells you player performance and where they've actually been. So we can actually see factually whether or not these instructions are making any difference. The whole idea is that players want more freedom and it isn't just talking about player positions and actually giving them instructions but can also come into set pieces set pieces themselves haven't really changed too much you can press various buttons to call a player closer maybe control a player within a box to move them around and if you're going in co-op of course you can tell the other person that you're playing with to move to a certain location but having a set piece option so that you can actually move players around and have a set way in which you want to take free kicks, corners, throw-ins, whatever it may be, you can actually physically take those players, move them into the position where you always want them to be, and hopefully they will be there by the time that you actually come around to that set piece. Rather than it being a preset that every player has, where they can control the direction using a D-pad. And of course, whenever this type of topic is brought up, there is always people saying, well, why would EA do that? It just means that people are gonna go ultra defensive and they're just gonna park the bus and in corners, they're gonna put everyone on the line. And yes, that will likely happen. Someone is going to do it. But if that's the tactics they wanna play, that's the tactics they wanna play. And there's nothing stopping you doing the exact same tactics. And there's also nothing stopping you to find out how to counteract that tactic. Just like there's nothing stopping anyone within real life in terms of managers of doing this. It's just not the smartest idea to do so, hence why they do not do it. Unfortunately, what we currently have is a game which is all based on AI. A lot of it is heavily weighted towards what the game has already decided for you in terms of player positions. And in a lot of cases, your defenders, when actually defending a corner, there's loads of times where it will take a five foot seven attacker and put them in a defensive position in the box for a corner up against a six foot center back. And there is nothing that you can do as long as your opponent has the intelligence and know-how of how to cross it to that exact player without it getting close to the goalkeepers or any other defenders. It's a goal every single time and you have no control over that. So being able to assign players to select the tallest player within your team to always man mark the tallest player in a set piece will help you is a choice that should naturally be made, but cannot be made within ultimate team. And there's these types of little details that players would like to see within EA Sports FC. If you couldn't tell by this video, I am someone that just wants to play. I really like the idea of there not being chemistry and there also not being positions for players. Of course, you can buy them and they'll have their preferred positions. And by moving them to another position, it will lower their rating. That's the type of system that I'm looking for. That way, if I was to go and take someone like Mbappe and put him as a center back, he's not gonna perform as well compared to if he was actually a striker. But even if you don't want to see Ultimate Team in the exact same way that I do, I think we can all agree that having more in-depth tactics is only going to be a benefit. You can keep them basic if you want to, 
But if you want to go a bit more in depth, then there's also the choice to go and do those as well, rather than having the basic system of what we currently have. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to so see ya.